Vinny VR and this is Hot Dogs, Horseshoes and Hand Grenades and can you believe it we're on update 31 but it is a very special episode because we did hit 20,000 subscribers absolutely just unbelievable so as a very special thank you I will be giving away over 500 pounds worth of steam vouchers so I won't give them all away at once and um, what I'll probably do is release one every eight hours it'll just give everybody a chance to have a go um at, at getting it because obviously some people who watch the channel they're gonna be in bed aren't they so um it'll be a hundred pound steam voucher about every eight hours um and hopefully it'll accompany a little bit of a video but if not it'll just still be the steam code so thank you everybody so much who's involved who's helped the channel grow from where it is to where it was from it's it's just so so crazy for a vr channel to be growing like this um and it, I, i'm just flabbergasted at it so thank you so much for sharing liking commenting and subscribing these are just so so awesome and i really really appreciate it so thank you so much uh, for making this year for me and i'm sure 2017 is going to be an even better year and also finally before we get into the game um i will be doing the charity live stream um it's a charity live stream for dyspraxia uh, for one of my subscribers paul banks and um, we've now established the date so it's the 25th of february it's been a long time coming um, but it's just really mainly trying to set things up and also give it a little bit of time to get a bit of promotion so the 25th of february I will be live streaming uh, be playing an absolute compendium of games loads of different games i'll be doing loads of different stuff i may even play some desktop games as well so do come along for that and help support a good cause right then let's get down to here what we came to do and open the rest of them prezzies okay so wow there's some big massive presents here um I, like, I try to not look at any spoilers and stuff like that but i think i know what these ones are i don't know what the other ones are but i've got a funny feeling i know what's inside at least this box i wonder if the same ones in that one and whether that's probably the ammo for it i'm guessing so let's try and find i think it was number 19 wasn't it, it was 19th we left it off on so oh well of course we're gonna find every number under the sun before we find the 19 aren't we better off my virtual life searching for present 20 <laughs> where the fuck is 19 <laughs> here we go here she is Oh, nice lovely silencer there. Oh, it's not a silencer, it's a suppressor. PP200, eh? PWD. This looks pretty nifty, nice and compact. It's not what that's all about, though. It's just aesthetically pleasing. And a massive magazine, so it must have quite a high rate of fire, this one. So we'll just stick that off with the left thumb stick. It's one of them ones where you can use it left or right handed. That's quite handy. So let's hear it with the suppressor on. Suppressed very nicely. And let's hear it with it off. wonder if that's fully automatic for that one. Oh, you've got a sight as well. Yeah, I, I, I like that one, but it's just got a weird sort of triangle shape at the front, so the only thing I really like about it is obviously you can just use that left or right-handed. The Golden Bell, number 20, with a... Is it a German grenade? Looks like it, doesn't it? Oh! What an earth. Wow. Oh, that looks sweet. Oh, my word. Uh, let's spawn lock a few of these. So, this is the MTS 255 revolver shotgun. This is the obviously the shortened, sawn off version of it, um, which looks pretty cool, which I think is going to be nice to dual wield. So, let's pop a few different. A cylinder is so weird. Oh, I can't. Mm. Oh, we can, yes. Yeah, we can. That's so cool, that cylinder. 
It's massive. Look at the size of it. So yeah, I'll fill that one up. It's left on the thumb pad to get that cylinder to pop out there as well. You don't actually have to flick it down. I think it just comes out, yeah, just nice and slowly normally. But obviously, if you want to flick it down, you can do that. Ooh. Just watch some of the cool patterns and shapes that that makes there in the centre. It's just so weird. Nothing to do with shooting guns or anything, but yeah. Crazy patterns out of turning circles. So, let's find some stuff to shoot. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> out of ammo. And then obviously if you want to empty it, just pop it like that. Let me do the trick. Yeah, that works. Oh, let's take a peek inside box 21. Ooh! That's weird, what are they? They grenades. So hang on, this is the AEK. 919k SMG nice lovely long magazine as well and we've got the port release catch there I would imagine that's on fully automatic no that's probably fully automatic what are these meat miss grenade ornaments well, they do look very nice be careful mum's ornaments are very fragile let's see how fragile so they are. Uh hope this didn't cost too much, mum. <laughs> oh nice. Nice. I can't leave you alone for a minute. <laughs> this is probably true. Right. Yeah. I do think that was a good idea. Yeah, it was fantastic. Nice little dinky gun addition there. It's not too bad, it's not too bad. I've never heard of that gun like, but never mind. I wonder what surprise is in store for Box 22. <laughs> Some colourful horseshoes. Yeah, just you look at the horseshoes first. So we've got some M14 DMR battle rifles. Oof. It's just so many guns at it now. Oh, that's the two different forms. So is one an old, older form of it, or are they both the same? It's the same gun, just different, differently made, isn't it? It's just a different colour and a few different things different in the in this area of the gun. Well, let's pick one of these up then. I think that'll be the. The older mag. This obviously holds more. Ooh, look at that. Looks pretty good. Let's try and get him there. Yeah, take the safety off, as always. And I think that's fully automatic. Oof, that's got quite the recoil on that. Let's find another one. Oof. Yeah, I like that dear more. That's pretty good. I'd say it's pretty good for uh, long range stuff. It's really nice, smooth looking skin as well. I've done really well on it. Cool. Oh, so somebody did mention, am I in a snow globe? And I didn't realise it, but we are actually in a snow globe. And just looking at the blurry image on the outside, I believe are actually a snow globe inside the developer's house. This is pretty cool. I never really noticed the edges of that, but yeah. So yeah, we're in a snow, but somebody also mentioned as well, there's a really long gun somewhere. And I've been looking for it and I can't actually find it. I think the developers move it to a different position every time. So we're gonna have to try and find out where the new position is and let me know. 
and then I can share it with you. Nearly there, nearly at the end of the boxes. 23. Have you seen the size of that? That's well chunky. I don't even know what that is. So it's the MP7A1 P PDW. Yeah, that's the one. Wow. That looks really nice. That's like, I don't know what it is. It's like a matte finish on it or something, but that's... That looks so realistic, that one. You're nice and compact. Whoa. The scope. <laughs> That's huge. <laughs> would you would you use this scope on this gun? Like, you got a tiny gun, but a massive scope. That's mental. Right, let's pop one of these in here. <laughs> Small but powerful. Let's see if we've got any. He doesn't have very much. Oh cool, look at that, the front of the scope as well. I presume that's what it actually... Oh, it's even reflecting the background. Wow. So just looking a little subtleties like that in this game compared to, to other shooter games. Obviously it's not multiplayer, but just the attention to detail on that there, where he's actually got that coming in as the background. And it actually swings around as well as you swing around, so that's really really cool it does look awesome like that doesn't it like tiny mini compact but chunky red lens there at the front nice and i believe it's the last box before the presents so voila oh the p90 yes <laughs> a gun i finally know Oh, pick that up in a funny spot. Nope, that is the spot you pick it up in. Right, let's load this bad boy in. Down like that. Let's put a red dot sight on him. And it's up on the thumb pad uh, to put your red dot sight on. And then you just press up again if you want it off. You actually hold the trigger when you're over the red dot sight and press up and then up again. Oh wow. Although that's not meant to do that. That still looks pretty cool. So the P90, a, a really nice gun. Um, the, I've never known, I don't know why, but the ones that seem closer to here, I've never really liked them that much. That red dot sight as well. <laughs> Who needs a sight when you've actually got a red dot there? Here we are, next to the big presence now. Uh, I think you know what it is. Uh, I know what it is. Um, I'm just a bit perplexed because I thought I knew what it was and there's two of them. So is the two of the same or are the two different things? I have no idea. I just know what type of gun at least one of them is because it's literally impossible to uh, to miss something like that. Because even in the suggested videos, it'll come up with somebody else's video with the name of the gun. And that's it, it's ruined. So let's have a little read of this first. So it says this feature, Pepperoni Invasion, uh, was thrown in at the last minute on a whim during a fairly intoxicated Meet Miss Eve. Uh, it is difficult or easy as you like uh, based on your equipment. Alright, so I think we uh are so excited to open this present. It's so mad to have it. Look at the wrapping paper as well. The wrapping paper is awesome. You love to have that on an actual present in real life. Right, let's open this up then. Ooh. Oh, it is. Look at that bad boy. <laughs> so I knew what it was but I didn't actually see it I just knew that a mini gun had been added but Jesus Christ <laughs> oh, 
Oh, this is so cool. Hello, Kaysen. Oh, this is gonna be a belt. Okay, calm down, calm down, calm down. Let's see if it's the other one. It's gonna be another one, hasn't it? Let's have a look. Oh, it's not a rocket launcher getting in. Didn't even know they had a rocket launcher. Well, I missed that spoiler. Oh, don't play with first and mini gun and the ro Let's get them both out. Mwah. <laughs> right. Get them all out. Get, can we... Can we put them in there? Yep. They do fit in there. Whew. Nice. Let's get ready for this pepperoni. Or pepperoni? Is it runny? Invasion. Oh, this is mad, this. Look at that. <laughs> Look at this thing, man. Will this just... Oh, I think this just goes in there, doesn't it? So let's pop the ammo in this one. Go ching, look at that. Nice, lovely belt fed mini gunner. Eh? You've got to be able to hold on to it, I think, for sure. I think you'd hold on to it like that. Wow. A few pop shots. Oh, aha. Uh -huh. Guessing you're not going to be able to single-handedly hold this. You're going to have to use two hands. That's pretty cool. Nice, right? It's time for these pepperonis. Uh, I'm miles away for now. Should have really got something. Oh, there we go. I didn't do that. Who the hell are they? Oh wow, they're actually shooting at me. Oh. Oh. Look at it, it's getting hotter as Look at that as well, it's getting roasted. Oh wow. That is super cool. <laughs> Where's the rest of them? Whoa. Oh no, out of ammo. Out of ammo. Out of ammo. Can we reload in time? Go away, go away, go away, go out. <laughs> Not even kidding, just smash me head against me. <laughs> one handed. Can't do it one handed. Let's try and get one of them with this. <laughs> All that disaster. I, mean, I really want to get them with. Can we put that on the back? Oh god, look at that. Nice. I think we can fire it from this position. Where is he? Let's destroy this guy. Oh, maybe not. He's not happy about that, is he? Did he take his head off? Nope. Back to the mini gun, I think. It's the most disaster.
really makes it look like that's just been through the mill with some bullets. Wow, just a magnificent piece of machinery. Super duper. What an addition. I'm going to forget this one in a hurry. A little bit. Can we break out? No. So yeah, that was a really nice surprise. I was really only thinking about that the minigun was the main thing that was added. Um, oh, I had presumed that this was the ammo. But we had the ammo in that box. So what's in this one? Ooh. Sort of little mini dinky revolver. It's pretty nice. Oh, it's for lefties. So like a, a, a so when you um when you press left on the thumb pad, it'll actually come round this side rather than that side, which is for the righties. Um, that way also you can flick the gun as well. So if you press uh, left on your thumb pad, that'll bring down that, and then if you press right, that'll switch the gun over just so it's easier to pop them out like that or that, and then you can switch it back round and reload it. So you've got the speed reloaders here. I'll just wham a few in. It's always a bit awkward for me, these speed loaders. So, there we go. Come eventually. It's a nice little addition. Little dinky gun, little surprise. Didn't really know that that one was coming either. That's fair. Uh, got a few of them out. Put a background. Do a bit of contortionist stuff because this is a uh, clearly for a lefty. <laughs> <laughs> totally not going to fire while the cylinder is out of the barrel. Nice, very nice little addition that gun, but um, nowhere near as nice as the, uh, can we pick that up? No, nowhere as nice as near as the mini gun, and a really nice touch to put them into a little present like that as well. We've got all these um, sort of new things that he's put up on here. This was the sort of challenge that he had, competition. Um, so at the top you'll see all the, that's the meatiest card award. Uh, do I look like I know what a JPEG is award, which is actually really funny. <laughs> and there's, um, which one did I spot? Where is it? I think it was that one, wasn't it? Yeah. Do I feel merry? Well, do you, punk? <laughs> it's just a picture of his head on Dirty Harry, which is uh, very, very funny. And some other ones along the road here. Just give them a little bit of a, a show off. Because these are all the people who are part of the community too. These all love H3VR just as much as we do. So guys, that's all we've got time for this week. But thank you so much for tuning in. And thank you so much for all your efforts over 2016. And uh, I hope we can be even better in 2017 so thank you thank you very 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 much everybody involved also as well just to give you a little update on the channel i do want to try putting in different games now for 2017 so there will be a few different types of games that i'll be adding and it won't be just h3 vr and um, because i know that a lot of you do want to see some other games and i did start doing that in, in the beginning um but i got a little bit obsessed with h3 vr videos so um, this this year we will try and put in some different type of content as well um, just for people who sort of like my personality but don't like guns um, and obviously I'm a bit of a gun noob as well so I don't really know anything about guns but it is still fantastic to have something like these I mean you, you can't say it doesn't matter whether you're a gun expert or not a gun expert whether you even know what a bullet is if you fire this it's going to feel amazing not just in virtual reality as well but if, I mean imagine if you did that in real life this thing would be just Redonculus. So yeah, thank you very much and a very special thank you to Holden Gully Russell, Dr. Slips, 
Digital G, Jesse Lever, Abdullah Simar, Angie, Kalila Alicia, Ellis the Grey, The Archer, Nathan Piai, White Tiger, Kim Jong Un, Platinum 214 plays PS3, X Fire PVP, Snack Bar Purple RP, Lily Donesbury, Devin Bramovich, 101 Quick Gamer Cool, and many, many more. Too many more to mention, but if you did like the video, don't forget to subscribe. You can also follow me at Twitter, at VinnyVR1, and I'll see you soon.